Hey gang, Tony Fontana here, you know, just out and about. I'm actually on my way to the South Shore. We're going to be looking at some homes on the water today, uh, some beautiful properties that are out there right now for sale. I'm taking one of my mortgage clients, literally taking him out to look at houses. And you think, well, I'm not a real estate agent. Why am I bothering to do that? That's for the agents to do. No, you really know it's not. If you're in my business, then you need to engage yourself with your customers. I'm going for two reasons. One, I want to prevent him from being taken advantage of. And two, I have a tremendous role in his life as his mortgage banker because I'm helping him make a major decision. I mean, we're looking at $700,000 homes here. These are not cheap properties. So when I go in, I look at the property and I look for the issues in the property that might be questions that I might have to have when I'm doing a mortgage. So I'm actually looking at it as, as a third party eye, third party looking at it. Yes, I have a stake in it, but I certainly don't have the same level of stake that the real estate agent would. Uh, they make a lot more money than we do. So, you know, they want to sell a house. Well, I want to mortgage a property that absolutely can be mortgaged and I want to make sure that there's no issues with it. So I'm going out today, we're going to look at a couple of homes and uh, we'll be back out tomorrow but it is a beautiful day and I know it's Saturday and a lot of you are home you're hanging out you're relaxing and I do know a lot of you at least if you're on my uh, Facebook wall uh, my friends list a lot of you are business people because that seems to be what gets attracted to me we're all business owners in one shape manner or form and if you're watching this video uh, well that means you're on your computer in your home right you know you're watching the video and I appreciate it and I don't know who's watching it I have no idea if anybody's even watching it but here's the thing if you're watching this video you're not out doing whatever you're supposed to be doing for your own business right does that make sense if you're not doing the little things that it takes to build whatever business you're in you know be it a mortgage business I, I treat my mortgage business as my own business the desk that I a cop you know uh, uh, sit at uh, on a regular basis I'm in effect renting that space from the bank that I'm working for. It's my business to build that business. You know, uh, my, my tax accounting practice is another business that, although I'm no longer full time with it, it actually keeps me pretty busy. And I engage my customers with that daily. I'm always helping them. I'm watching their accounts, I'm watching their transactions on a regular basis, you know, using software and making sure that they're you know, number one, taking advantage of the the, the, the best taxes, tax laws that are out there, the tax deductions that are out there, but they're also not getting themselves into trouble by doing something done with their own money, right? So I'm watching that. I'm paying attention to that. And that's what gives me an edge up over most other accountants that happen to be in that business. And, you know, when MJ and I, we own a health and wellness company. We're, we're, we're partners with one of the largest online shopping portals in the United States, actually in North America. I take pride in that. And if I didn't make a penny with it, you know, I'd be fine because the products are outstanding. But that said, I'm looking to engage with people on a, on a personal level. You know, uh, building those relationships is key. I, I get a lot of network marketers sending me friend requests and the instant I accept a friend request, the next thing I know I'm getting, I'm getting hit with links and deals and phone calls to join them and it's the, it's the greatest opportunity. Let me, let me explain something to you. You're forgetting the networking part of network marketing, yeah? You're forgetting the fact that I might not need what you have. I might not need the money that you're, you're throwing at me with that business model. I might not be interested in that business model in any shape, matter, or form, or I might have already been involved in that particular business and it didn't work for me. So engage with me, get to know me for a little while, you know, an hour or something, you know, before you start throwing at me what you think is the world's greatest opportunity uh, today. You know, it's like looking at the shiny penny that's on the sidewalk. Oh, there's something else to look at, shiny object. It doesn't interest me. I've been around way too long to be affected by shiny objects and exclamation points and join me things. It's nonsense. You're not going to build that type of a business if you're doing it that way. You're not going to build a long-term sustainable business for yourself because all you're doing is you're hyping the crap out of it and you're throwing it out there to people that may or may not know you personally and may not need what you have. But because of the excitement 
they're getting excited about it and they're getting involved with it and then their excitement wears off just like it does with you know a new suit you know, eventually the new suit you know the thrill of wearing a new suit wears off and then you got to buy another suit or another outfit or another new car or another watch you know none of that lasts none of that excitement lasts it's got to be a basically a core value must be is it a sustainable long-term business model that changes people's lives that's the most important thing for you to consider at this point so uh, I'm almost where I need to be so I'm gonna sign off on this and uh, again uh, you know I don't use the these uh, systems very often uh, Facebook live is new to me and uh, I consider all this a test anyway you know but uh, I am not looking at the phone so those of you that uh, he's not being safe yes I'm being perfectly safe it's not an issue so um, anyway with that uh, God bless. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.